literally, I've just put the camera on and somebody started sawing or drilling or something outside. Literally, and I mean literally as the camera went on. So that's just great. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a repot with me. Today, we don't have a lot on. This is becoming a theme, I do realize this. But today, it's a bit of an odd one. I saw this upstairs, there's actually more than one of them. It's doing a little bit crap because it actually got kind of bleached by the light on one of the shelves. It's actually a smaller shelf. It's not quite as big as these. I don't know why I'm showing you here, you can't see. But the shelves in my shop are maybe about that. Right, these shelves are about that. And it's got a little bit bleached. But this is, I think, it says pastas on and white, but it, it almost looks like a, what do you call it? One of those platinum pastas on them. So I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it can't be pastas on them in my opinion, but we'll see. But I like it anyway. Oh no, sorry. It says pastas on and white on my side. The side you get says platinum. So it, it is what I think it is. It's platinum. So I spotted this and I thought, okay, I'd like to try and pop this up. I'm going to pot it in here. And I realize this is very, very, very small pot for this plant. But I'm looking at some of the roots on here and I don't think they're very good. I think they've rotted. I think it's had a bit of neglect. I don't think the root mass is going to be amazing at all. Again, I haven't checked, but I'm going to put it in here. And if it's just in here for like three weeks, then fine. That's okay. I don't think I've got anything bigger at the minute. I'm kind of low on pots. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take these out of the pot because they've done all right upstairs. They're not amazing. This is Anthurium Selby Silver in here. So I'm going to take them out, individualize them, and just pop them up normally. I have some pond down here, which is what's in this pot here. And I have some lecker under the table, which is what's in this here. Now, switching between these two mediums is fine in this shop. It, you know, nothing really happens. Some plants do better in one than the other. I know people ask me a lot about that. Depends on the plant. Depends on the conditions outside the, uh, the, the plant. Whatever that means. The environment, I think, is what I'm trying to say. So... Without further ado, that's what we're going to do today. I have a list of questions here on this, on the back of these picking sheets for the shop, and I'm just going to go through them. One more thing, I'm probably going to have to stake this and give it a bit of a trim if it's a bit wobbly in the pot, so I will do that. We will do it as we go. We'll just see how it goes. I've got my phone here. I'm going to put it down because I don't think it's going to go off. It's been a busy day for my phone. Always is these days, always is. Uh, and we'll get started. Is there anything I need to tell you? I feel like there's something I need to tell you and I don't know what it is. Not like big news or anything, just something operational I feel like I need to tell you. What? Someone asked me about a wall update, right? And, oh God, it's, it's bad, guys. So I've only just discovered it this morning, but I've been out of the shop for a few days now. And essentially, there is a pump in the bottom of the wall that pumps water up through, you can't see it here, I'm sort of beside my wall if you can't tell, pumps it up through this side, there is like a hose pipe and it goes along the top and it's got loads of holes coming out of it. Basically the water gets pumped up and it just, gravity just drips it back down and it drains back into the bottom. It should happen once an hour for about two minutes and essentially we've debugged it this morning and the pump is fine but the timer switch is just a really sort of basic, you can buy them off Amazon, just really, really basic thing with a little keypad on it to punch in timers. That switch has malfunctioned and the wall hasn't been watering itself for the last week. And believe me when I tell you it's bad, guys, about half the wall is dead, literally. And the stuff that isn't dead the minute, it probably will die. <sighs> so yeah, that's what I've kind of come to today. So I'm not happy about that. Nothing I can do about it, guys. To be honest, if this wall gives me too much more hassle, it's probably going to have to come down because nothing's really doing well on there. It's very hard to maintain. It's not the best design. That's the main reason I haven't made you guys a video on how to do a living wall because I wouldn't recommend it being done this way. And if I don't recommend it, I'm not going to tell people how to do it because you're probably just going to end with problems in your house if you're doing it in your house. So there's a lot that I would do differently. We'll see how it goes. A lot of stuff in the bottom is quite nice. Oh, needless to say, anything Monstera has done brilliantly apart from the Dubai. -er. But ugh, I realize you can't see any of it because this, this guy isn't even on the wall. He's just in a pot down here and I love him very much. He's great. Look at him. He's great. But it's not doing very good. So... Mm. Not great. Someone asked me for an obliquer update. You can't see, but he's in this cabinet here. Can you see a cabinet? Yeah. He's just poking out the top. You might be able to see him. This is one of the plants from my house. And everyone asks me, what's happened to the plants in your house? They're still here. And this is one of them. Lots of updates. Not really something I can give you now, but there's a lot of stuff going on and not a lot of it's good, to be honest. So 
Anyway, on with it. That's the wall update done. One more thing. Oh no, it needs water. Oh no. <laughs> Literally. As I say, I've just got back today. Someone asked me how the variegated peace lily is doing. Let me grab that too. Oh my God, it needs watered. It needs watered. Obviously that's drying out, but it's not variegated anymore. I think I have said this a few times. This dry ass looking thing is my variegated peace lily. And as I say, it is not variegated. There's a tiny bit on the bottom there. It just doesn't variegate anymore. Yes, that does absolutely need watered. I will make sure that occurs. But those are your easy updates. God, is there anything that isn't depressing on you? Someone asked me, and let's get started here. Someone asked me about a house tour. Basically, when are you going to do it? And I think we'll take this out first, by the way. It's easier, isn't it? Basically, I don't know. Um, I'm not quite moved in yet. I know that's wild. I realize that is wild, guys. We're in December now, uh, as at least you see this video. And we're filming this on Wednesday, so two days prior to you guys seeing it. Unless you remember, in which case you're seeing it the next day. I'm nearly in it, but there's there's not a lot in there. There's just boxes because I think I've said this on a, on a previous video, mainly the horse video, I think. I can't really afford to fill the house. And I've got some stuff. I've got my sofa now, which, oh, it's like a really shit story time, but I'll tell you about my sofa drama at some point. It's not really drama. It's a very shit story. But basically, I was supposed to have a sofa two months ago. Got delivered. Then it got delivered again. Now it's fine. So I have a couple of things in the house, but we're literally talking bed, sofa. I don't know if you could hear that, but there is literally a flock of geese flying over the roof. So yeah, I don't really have much in the house. So it's not to say I can't do a tour. It would just be more of an empty house tour. And I think that the house will be empty for some time. I'm a little bit mm, about filming in it just because it's very echoey because there's nothing in it. So I will obviously try and film in it at some point. I'm still trying to move the last of my stuff in, but you will see the house, absolutely. If you don't care about an empty house tour, let me know in the comments and I'll just sort of do one as soon as I've got some of the boxes out. But let me know, because I assume when you want a house tour, you want everything in there, like plans and stuff, and there's literally nothing over yet. So I do need to get on with that. This has way more roots than I expected, guys. This is not ideal. This is not ideal for this pot at all. I don't know if there's any point in even putting it in. I genuinely expected, right? I know you might think, oh, those are dark looking roots. They will be. It was originally grown in soil before it came to me. I thought that they would all be rotted, but they kind of aren't. They are good. Let me see if I've got anything bigger. You know what? We're just going to have to go with what we've got. It's a little bit, little bit of a shame, but I haven't got anything to hand. It's just going to have to be wedged into this. But anyway, yeah, I don't know if you guys have got an opinion on what to do. Now what's the noise? Oh my God. I don't know if you've got an opinion on what you think I should do about that, but I did assume you wanted a plant tour, but that might be a little while, guys, because I need to make sure that the humidity and everything is not going to just kill anything that goes in there because... It's a new house, it won't have good humidity, obviously, and all the plants are coming from over here, so you can expect it to not be amazing. Sorry, there's a really strong hum. What is that noise? Like, it's it's loud. Could be the heater on the other side, okay. Well, that's not ideal. Two minutes, guys, there's a malfunction on a heater now. Oh, I tell you what, this year can just, just be done already. Literally, now I'm having to crawl up. On my ladder. Yeah, it is. Okay, so there you go. Literally, I'm back. You know what it is? I've just had a great idea for a video. It should be a video of me doing these types of things, right? So hear me out. I've just thought of it now. A video of me answering questions like this or me just having chitter chatter or whatever, whatever, right? Whilst doing plant chores, I know people have suggested that, but I might just do it with a GoPro on or something. So it's just like point of view stuff. I don't know why I've just had that idea, but it seems like a good idea. I'm so out of breath. Jesus, let me breathe. Let me know what you think about that idea. I like that idea. My GoPro won't stay on very long, but I might be able to buy something that has more of a battery. I'll have to look into it, but I just thought that'd be a really cool idea. Just plant chores, P POV. Why not? Let me know if you like that idea. Obviously, it wouldn't have a heavy edit on it. It would be pretty as is. Let me know if it's something you actually want to see. And we can, being that it's December now, we can probably just trial it and I'll just put it out as an extra video. And you can just maybe give me topics to talk about or something. And I'll just basically just babble on while I do some plant stuff. Whether I be sitting down and chopping some stuff up or I'm just walking around tending to stuff or whatever. Let me know. I kind of like that idea a little bit. Anyway, to cut that short because I know I'm rambling, it's not the best video today. Let me know what you think about house 
tour if you want one that's empty or you just want to see one with the plants in if you want to see one with the plants in it's going to be a bit of time it might even be january i've got a lot on at the moment really not that everyone cares but obviously the horse thing is taking a lot of my time up there's a few things going on so let me know if that interests you. Oh God, can I just pull these? Sorry, I'm gonna deal with this first because that's like, that's kind of done. So I'm gonna try and separate all these up. Let me just show you these. Because it might take a hot minute. Can you see that? It's it's kind of all over the place. So we're gonna try and separate those now. Right, next base drawn. Invisalign, really quick one. I am still on Invisalign. I have more nuggets on my teeth now. I'll come up to the camera and show you. I'm still going to need refinements after this, but long story short, anyway, I'm kind of happy about it because I don't have the cash to do the things I need to do after Invisalign. So I'm just going to probably have as many refinements as I need to and then just see what happens at the end. My refinements are due to finish in January, like the first week, but I can see by this canine here that it's not quite moved down. So I'm going to need some more. But yeah, I'll, I'll kind of show you my teeth. I don't like doing this because I hate my teeth, by the way, but this is what we're at now. Bottoms are like this. Quite a nice palette, really, I would say. Sorry, I'll just get down a bit on camera. That's good. And then these are the tops. But here I have a canine that doesn't like moving, but that's it there. That's my smile. Still a bit gummy, but what can you do? That's Invisalign anyway. That was a super, super quick one because I do have quite a few quick fire questions. Um, horse update. Don't panic, not going to be a big thing. My update is that I'm not going to give you an update, basically. So just, if you don't care about the horse thing, honestly, just hang fire, I'll get past it super quick. You will get a proper horse update. But what it will probably be is it will be in a more dedicated video similar to the other one that I did. So similar to that report I did, just so that people can avoid it if they don't want to know. Because it will be a more extensive one, because I've read your comments and I know that there's been a lot of points of view on the whole horse thing. Most of them good, don't get me wrong. And it's not to discuss bad points. It's just some people seem to have a, bit, a couple of misconceptions maybe about the horse. So I want to go through that and what I've decided to do and progress reports and things like that and tell you a little bit about Bobby and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that, but it's going to be another video. I'm waiting on a little bit of paperwork to come through the door, if you know what I mean. Um, and I want to speak to you after that because I will have a little bit more information for you so I didn't want to rush it unless you're happy with two horse updates let me know and I will make sure that again they are separate from the main videos because I appreciate it and everyone wants to follow it although most of you seem to which honestly warms my heart thank you so much and again thank you so much for everything you guys have done I will give you that but it won't be today those of you that are desperate for an update Oggy, sorry, Bobby. It's really hard for me to use his original name. Please do understand that. Every one of the livery calls him Oggy because that's who they know him as. So when I'm talking to people at the livery, it's Oggy, Oggy, Oggy. So the names do get used interchangeably a little bit. But Bobby or Oggy, same horse. Last time I checked, which was last week, or was it the week before now? I can't remember. He lost 30 kilograms in about a week maybe a little bit over a week, which is fantastic. So that's really good. That's due to the swimming and stuff. So he's doing really, really well. I haven't seen him. I got a picture of him today, actually, um, sent when he was in the field, enjoying some time with another horse. So I got a picture sent today. So he seems really, I would say happy. He just seems like himself. He's looking very well, though. He's looking less fat. You couldn't see it in the picture, so I won't show you the picture. Plus, there's somebody else's horse in the picture. So, um, But generally, it's going really well. So... As far as he goes, no major updates, just that he's he's healthy, he's fitter, he's, he seems a bit perkier now because he's not as fat and lazy and everything. Um, so that's that. You'll get an update in the future though, so just hang fire. But that's like your mini, mini, mini update. I will obviously post updates on the GoFundMe as well. So if you don't always watch reports, maybe just reports aren't anything for you, but you're invested in the whole story. I will keep updating that GoFundMe, which I'll link down below, because if you don't know anything about what I'm talking about, it basically gives you his full story and what's happened with this horse in that GoFundMe. So I'll link that down below, but that's I, every update I give you on here, I will be posting it on there as well. So you don't have to watch a whole video to get it if you don't want to. Next question, and I swear I will start doing something. So we've got, we don't have, I must say something. We don't have a lot of plant questions today and I was quite surprised by it. There's not a lot of plant questions at all that I've picked. Generally, it was all just anything but, which I found quite interesting. So let's go for 
how did you know it was time to leave the programming job? Oh, that's a good one. And when I take these questions down, by the way, I don't actually think of the answers. I just write them down, I go, oh, good question. And then I have to try and answer it at the time. I just prefer it that way. So you get my genuine reaction. When did I know? Or how did I know? What was it? How did you know? So <sighs> I've talked about this a bit. Sorry, I'm just working out if I can snap this. Oh, I'm going to have to, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I've talked about this here and there in the past. So I'll sort of re-clarify a little bit. If you don't know me, and this is your first time here, I am trained as a C++ games programmer with specific background in video games. So I did that at university. I did my undergrad in that, in games programming. And then I went to a university down the road in Newcastle and I did my master's in the same thing, which I don't think you should do. I think you should do your master's in something else, but I didn't want to do anything else. So I did that anyway. Both of my dissertations, so my, what you'd call it in the US, like a thesis or whatever, both of those uh, for both degrees, my degree and my master's were on AI, artificial intelligence. My first ever AI, and it's still on YouTube, is a search AI that uses something called limited information. I won't bore you, but basically it's an AI that doesn't cheat to find out where you are and it has to actually search an environment for you. That was my first uh, thesis dissertation or whatever. My second one for my master's was flocking AI. So I built a flock and it was great. And that actually made it into my work when I worked for the games company I worked for. <sighs> I'm probably not going to speak very favorably of the games company. And I know a lot of you know who the company is. It's not that I'm trying to protect their identity. I just feel like I've moved on. I don't need to name them all the time. Do you know what I mean? But it didn't end well. It actually ended pretty horrifically, to be honest. So I moved to Manchester in, I think this was like 2016, 2017. I'm not actually sure. It might be 2017 now. Uh, before I started my channel and everything, and I basically, I completed my master's at university and then I sort of moved out to work for this company on a game. Um, it was all going really, really well for the first year went swimmingly. Like, honestly, I loved it. I kept thinking to myself, oh my God, I can't believe I get paid to do the thing I love the most. I was having a great time. I loved the people there. Oh my God, they were like family to me. I just thought they were the best people ever. Every single one of them, you know, I could spend a lot of time with. I love them. I love them to bits. It sort of, I won't go into why it changed, but it was kind of like workflow reasons and company politics, company culture reasons, it started to go a bit south anyway. And it got really stressful working on the game that we ended up releasing, really, really stressful. And again, I will gloss over this because not everyone cares. It's a long story short. Oh no, I think I might have fucked that. There's nowhere else to rip it off. Oh God, Ben's gonna hate me for this. Sorry, Ben, if you're watching, please don't come for me. But um, yeah, so it, it went a bit south. Um, I feel like at some point towards the, the release of the first game, it was, it got to a point for a few of us, not just me, actually, there was two others where it just got a bit untenable. Um, I'd started at this point after the first game, I think I started on the channel. So I started this channel and at some point I started the shop. The shop never went down well. It never went down well, uh, with the company I worked for because I would, I would ask for days off, which, were holidays, but I'd take it to work on the shop. And I, we all kept, the, the, it's hard to explain and I don't want to go into too much, but there, there was quite a lot of freedom with holidays at this company. It was, it was really nice in that way. I will give that company that. It was great to work for in that sense. If you needed a holiday and it was three weeks, it was fine. Just work some extra time somewhere else. Like it was very flexible and it was great. But got to a point where I was taking holiday days for the shop because um, I had to, or YouTube or something, I had to get a video out. I was literally just dead doing all of it. And it was going really well for me. I and mean, I was taking a couple of days off for that. They knew full well what it was for, but I think it, it rubbed the company up the wrong way. So a rift starts to form anyway, I think. Um, YouTube starts to kind of take flight a little bit. We had the Jenna Marbles thing. It went really quickly after that. The shop, I opened the shop, it sold out the day I opened it and literally I'm still shocked about that because um, I remember I launched it on the day that I was moving house 
it was quite stressful. I'm going to snap this off here, actually. This might stress people out, and I totally get it, because this is no way to do this, but you can't really cut it. Anyway, there we go. Everything has a root except from one, and that can just be the base, so it's, it's, it's fine. So yeah, so it, it just got a bit... I don't know. I don't think they liked the fact that I had the shop, which is fair in a lot of respects. I had to drop down to four days a week to manage everything. Then after that, I think it got really bad. St other stuff with other members of staff was happening at work. They weren't happy either. Um, I dropped down to three days a week with their permission and it, it still wasn't really enough. I didn't find out actually till after I left. And I forgot to say this in the previous video where I've talked about this company, someone reminded me that it happened and I'd actually forgotten because somebody asked me, um, oh, two seconds, my camera's probably going to go off. Sorry, I don't have my monitor on, so I have to manually start and stop when it starts to approach 30 minutes. Anyway, so yeah, I meant to say this in the last video and I completely forgot because I only found out after I quit. That's why I, when I think about how it was in the job and everything, in terms of like working with men and all that stuff. I said it was fine because it was. And the culture there was fine. Literally, it was fine. I can't, I cannot fault them for that. The lovely, lovely boys. Um, because I was the only girl. But I basically found out after I quit that I was getting paid less for the same work as essentially one of my other teammates that coincidentally quit for the exact same reasons I did. Um, and then another one went for the exact same reasons I did. But they were getting paid a little bit more money for the same days a week um, at work. They were different projects we were working on, but we've always had the thing there and it was something I liked and we I knew this from day one. It's no matter what your job is, whether you're the animator, the artist, the programmer, whatever you are, you all get paid the same. So everyone gets the same wage. But I found out after I quit that I wasn't getting the same wage. So I was just kind of like, well, all right, okay, great. Um, but the reasons I left is that I could... Uh, there was more opportunity elsewhere. And the way I saw it was, I've got my degree. No one can take that from me. I've done all that work. I've got the qualifications. There's not a lot of risk here. I'm very unhappy in my job. It's not going down well at work. The politics are just, just not great at all. And as I say, two other people left for the same reason. It was ugly. It wasn't going great. And I think I... <laughs> if anyone is actually watching from my old job, I don't know if they know what drove me to leave but I'll, I'll tell you guys and if you are watching from my old job this is this is what drove me to leave there's many things that I know a lot of you if you even watch this are aware of but the thing that really kicked me in the teeth was I'd just come back from the international allied show that that one time I went guys so that was 2019 and it took a lot for me to go I worked my ass off for the money to go there because it cost a lot of money to go to the US and a lot of money on the hotel and a lot of money on food. Everything else was really expensive to go. And basically, we all have task lists of work of like things to do as a result of meetings or whatever. Your usual stuff. But I'm the programmer there. <laughs> I came back and I was in a stand-up meeting the first day back. And we were discussing like what needs to be done or whatever else, whatever else. And it, it sort of, it hadn't got to me yet. And I'm really sorry to tell you this, if you're watching and you're from my old job, but it got to somebody else. I will leave them sort of anonymous because no one will remember this but me. Literally, no one will remember this but me. But it got to my task list and someone just went, oh, I did it all, bossed it. And it... it <laughs> Trying not to laugh. It certainly wasn't a programmer. Uh, all I'll say is, if you're not a programmer, you can't really do programming stuff, okay? You just can't. I, that's the nicest way I can put it for you. There's a reason why the programmer is a programmer, the artist is the artist, the game designer is a game designer. Like, I can't animate. I can't do game design. I can't do any of those things, right? But essentially, it just got around to me, and it was, oh, bossed it. Bossed it, it's fine. Did it all. And I was just like, wow, that's really nice way of completely undermining anything I do here. And immediately after that, I think a couple of team members were going over to, I don't think it was Miami, but it might have been Florida. It was literally somewhere really close to where I'd been. And they were just making such a big deal out of it. And I was just like, the hell is going on here? And I'd already had shit before I went. It was crap anyway. It just got really twisted and nasty in the workplace. Like, each of those people individually are wonderful people. 
But it, something about them being together just became really wrong, really wrong. And it wasn't like that in the beginning, but whatever. So I just, I was really upset and I just, I quit. And the quitting process was horrific. It was absolutely horrific. I got completely betrayed in the process to the point where the two other people that left kind of stuck up for me and said, this is just ridiculous. Why is this going down like this? It was, it was messy. I'm not gonna lie. It was a little bit messy, but I left. I wouldn't continue to shit on them for years or anything. It wasn't great at all. I didn't have a good time. I don't, I don't think particularly highly of them. As individuals, if any of you are watching, I wish you literally all the best. I have nothing against you as people in the real world or anything, but in a working environment, <sighs> some of them were lovely to me in the working environment. Some of them just, just wasn't right, man. It just wasn't right. So, and I'm not talking about a sexism thing. Sorry, I know I'm having to be cryptic. <laughs> I realize that, but yeah. I left for a few reasons and it's, it's really hard to come and grift like that um, and be treated a certain way when you can see opportunities happening around you and there's not too much of a consequence of taking them. It's not like me dropping out of college or uni or something. I've already done it. I've already got the bits of paper. Do you know what I mean? I've got those accolades. It's fine. They are always there. No one can take them from me. The, the worst thing I'd have to contend with if I had to go to a regular job would be probably to relearn a few things programming wise. I can still read code. I actually checked a few months ago. I wasn't too bad at it. Just reading up on updates, syntax, all the usual programmer jargon. I'm sure I could do it. Um, so really, I didn't, I didn't feel like there was a lot to lose. It was scary quitting my job, if anyone wants to know, and just relying off YouTube payments and shop payments. Uh, that sucked because I think when I originally quit, I had to live off the shop because YouTube guys wasn't paying me much at all, at all. You couldn't even remotely live off it. So I had to supplement via the shop until YouTube gave me enough. And then I don't take from the shop since. So it was tough, but there were a few things making me leave. And I can't really say they're all nice. It was just, it was, it was a yin and yang. It was like, this situation is shit. This situation could be something. So they both lined up together and I thought, fuck it, we'll have a go. So yeah. Obviously, I've had support through that. Ben's been there every step of the way because I've known Ben a long time. Couldn't have done it without Ben, actually. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> but he knows this anyway. So, yeah, that's, that's a very long-winded answer to the question, but I didn't really want to not give any context on that because if I don't say enough, it sounds really bad. Or if I say too much, it sounds really bad. You get what I'm trying to say, guys. I don't want to upset anyone that I used to work with or anything, but it, 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 it sucked in the end. It sucked in the end. And it, I wish it didn't because... I actually mourned that job, even even when it was shit when I left. I don't think any of the boys know this, but I mourned that job as if it was a breakup. I literally felt the same. It was awful. I cried most days. It was just horrible. It took me a lot to get over it, actually. I might have said that before, but oof, it's, I wouldn't go back. I would not go back. Wish them very well individually, but I, I don't speak to any of them anymore, apart from the two boys, bless their hearts, that left, not with me, but very shortly after me. So, yeah, we all have our opinions on that, as you might imagine. Uh, but yeah, that's that anyway. I'll move on because I don't want to talk about my old job all the time. Uh, what have we got? Oh, a friend asked me this and I did see you, so I wanted to answer it. But a couple of people asked me stuff like this anyway. Would you ever come back to World of Warcraft? Oh my God. So I'm laughing because I, I honestly, that game has given me so much joy, but it is literally designed to make you addicted. Sorry, I need to actually plant something now. We'll plant this. So, I'll keep that in the bottom there for drainage. There's just a bit of lecker in. Hope you can see that. So, am I still in focus? <sighs> Nat, fuck you. Yeah, I am. Sorry, you're a mile away. So, yeah, would I ever come back? So, I used to play it all the time. Uh, between the ages of maybe 21, 26, something like that. It got less when I went to uni, obviously, has to. And then I sort of skipped out on it. And then I was going to start playing it again. But then YouTube came along and I haven't had a second to breathe, guys. I can't remember the last time I played a video game. It's really sad. That, that was literally my job. And I love it. I don't know if I would. I would love to in an ideal world. But I don't get enough time. And I know how demanding World of Warcraft is. But I did very much enjoy it when I played. I played all the way up to Mists of Pandaria. That's how long ago this was. Uh, and I played a Shadow Priest mixed with Holy, I believe. I fucking loved it, guys. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. My entire personality makes a really good healer, by the way. That's like my thing. Love it. Literally loved it. So yeah, I, I would love to, but I'm not going to have the time. What I am looking forward to, oh my God, I was speaking with uh, my personal trainer about this the other day, is I'm really looking forward to the Harry Potter game. Um, I haven't 
looked up too much of it yet. And I think it's out in February. So I really need to sit down and work out what's going on. Um, but I'd love to play that. I did say something really weird on a YouTube thumbnail the other day. And just to let you know, before anyone comments, I haven't clicked on it. But it was something to do with people demanding a boycott of it. Uh, so if there's something I should know, then tell me. But I'm letting you know now as of recording this. I have no idea what that is. But as it stands now, I would absolutely love to have that. And I will probably try and take a little bit of time off to play some of that. Because I have a PS5 um, that I got. Oh my god, I got that. February this year, but I kept it in its box because I said to myself, no, I'm going to wait until I have a house to open that box. So I opened the box, which was nice, but I've got no PS5 games. I'm using it literally to watch YouTube on in a minute. I would love to come back to WoW. I probably won't, even though I would I really love to. It's just a time sink, isn't it? That's the problem. Right. I've got a lot of root in here. I don't like what I'm having to do. I'm having to kind of squish them onto like a a layer, almost like layering a cake. I'm not loving that. Maybe this will just be a bit temporary. Like I said, if this is like this for three weeks, I'm happy enough. So we will just go with that. Right, what else while I'm down here? Someone, really random plant question, but someone said, how can you save an allocation that's rotted back to the comb? Really quickly, let that comb dry out. If it's rotted back, you need to dry out that comb a little bit. In the, in the same way that when people store them for winter, you store them and you wrap them up, let it dry out first before you start again. You've got nothing to lose if you're at the comb. Right, if you've got foliage, maybe you don't want to do that. But if you're really trying to protect that allocation, I would probably sacrifice the foliage and make sure that comb is all right. Because if you lose the comb, you've lost your plant, literally. I've had success growing something back from half a comb, but do you really want to let it get that far? Probably not. So make your decision based on the foliage. Get all the photos you want. Probably just dry it out a bit. Um, however long it takes, week might do it. And then start again. And just be really careful, obviously, when you start again. Um, do it in whatever method you think is best. That is the bloody wall, and I'm stood next to it. For God's sakes. Ugh. It's just finished before I started filming as well. This looks really good, by the way. I'm quite impressed with how stable this is. I didn't think this was going to be. Do you like it? That's not bad, is it? Like I say, this this is kind of trashed a little bit, but I just wanted it to be nice because I want to cut from it at some point, um, but we'll leave it for now. It's not... Um, oh, God, what's it going around? It's not Silver Angel, by the way. I would love one of them if anyone wants to sell me one. It's not Silver Angel. It's just known as Platinum, I think. So uh, it's probably not as nice, but I like it. So that's not indicative of what it should look like. It should look more platinum than what it looks, if I'm honest, but I think it's just had a rough time. Does it look platinum at all? You tell me if it looks platinum at all, like not full green, um, but it does have a bluey tint. It might just be this one because it's been absolutely just upstairs. So mm, we'll see. Um, when is feed coming? Feed is coming probably in the spring now. Again, some production issues, uh, which essentially, total transparency, just some stuff on the label. Had to make sure the hazard symbols, basically they have to be a certain size, they have to take up a certain amount of thing. Depending on what's in the product, you have to have certain hazard statements and blah, 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 declarations, the shit like that. Um, I had to have a prototype of the packaging made, which I actually have, and it's really good. So I have a prototype of that that I will not show you because I haven't released the name of the feed or anything yet. So I'm thinking spring, and I think that's the best time. I did want it before Christmas, but it's just not going to happen. I think the formula is done, so the feed is done. It would just be a case of approving that label. It's actually the label that takes a long time. So I say label, the, the packaging, because it's incorporated to the packaging. That takes, I think, 12 weeks, so that's three months. For that. The actual feed can be formulated very quickly and put into huge, you know, tanks to uh, to disperse. So it's actually the packaging that takes a while. Hence, there's been a bit of a delay in production. Um, so once we have the packaging, we're kind of good to go. I need to I need to get my arse into gear and finish the website because it's still a bit bare bones at the minute. But yeah, I'm thinking spring sometime. So by the time you need it, you will have it, I think. Um, but I will obviously I'll keep you updated on that as well. Do you think I should secure this? Because I'm thinking, no, it's pretty strong. Mm, we will anyway. Why not? We will anyway. Right. Next question is, um, someone asked me, are you still taking riding lessons? Would it surprise you to know that I am not taking riding lessons right now? Hang on. 
oh, I hate doing this. It gives me anxiety, literally. Oh my God, I go to the gym and I still can't cut it. There we go. Okay. I'm not. I kind of stopped for financial reasons. Let's just be transparent, obviously. Uh, I stopped shortly before I did the GoFundMe and stuff. Hence, I really was in a, in a place before I did that GoFundMe. So I have actually stopped writing lessons. That's how much I wanted to do right by everything. Um, I did have one sort of off the cuff last Tuesday. So a week ago yesterday, just to make sure that I well, still got it kind of thing. Does that make any sense? Because prior to that, I don't think I'd been well over a month and I used to go every week. So I want to do one just to make sure that I wasn't getting in my own head about my ability. Because obviously I want to continue my horse journey. Not with Bobby, but I want to continue it. So I just want to make sure that I was still all right and I hadn't deteriorated. But generally, sorry, I'm just being really pedantic. This is actually a bit longer. Oh, I hate that so much. Uh, yeah, so cash reasons, cash reasons. So it's basically like 30 quid for 30 minutes and that adds up a little bit. Obviously I have my house and loads of other stuff going on. So I did stop. I would love to keep going, but we'll see how I go, right? At the minute, we need to just get these other things sorted out. So that's what's happening. I might do them every so often, but it won't be weekly. Um, what can you do? I wish I just had a friend that had a horse and I could just get free lessons, but I wouldn't actually ask that of my friends anyway. You know, I mean, I'd want to pay them. But yeah, so that's the tea with that. Give me one moment. Lovely, lovely. Someone asked me, really random question, what makes shipping to Canada so bad? Because um, a lot of people are like, why don't you ship to Canada? What's wrong with it? Basically... Long and short of it is, to ship to Canada, you yourself, the customer, needs to have an import license. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, well, how do I get one? The answer is, I'm not privy to the ins and outs of it. Um, second, I just know it's you that has to apply for it. Second of all, you might say, right, well, if I get licensed, can I buy from you? And it's like, you can. We need to see proof of that license before we send stuff to you. And the problem is you'd have to buy not through the website because we don't have a feature to be like, yo, it's Canada. We need to see your stuff before you can have the order. It's obviously, it's just a Squarespace website. It's not super, super, super like nuanced in that sense. So we, we couldn't administrate the people that do have the licenses buying. If you do have an import license and you want to buy something, the best thing I would say would be to email the shop and we will try and help you. I can't guarantee we can but we will try and help you because um, there still might be a plant limit on that. I don't know if it's a bit like the US where it's like 12 plants or something. A phytosanitary certificate, I think only gets you 12 plants, something like that anyway. So yeah, if you're interested in that and you've got that, email a shop. But if it's emailing to ask how to get the license, don't do that. <laughs> um, have a look for yourself and then figure it out because we, you know, we only have certain contacts. We don't, we don't know at all. And we don't, we can't easily get this information sometimes. So yeah, that's that basically. That's in a nutshell why Canada is an IMA. Just because you guys have to have the thing. And we can't just send it to you, you saying you have the thing, when you don't have the thing. Because it's on us if things don't get to you. Even though you're the reason it didn't get to you. We still are liable. So that is why, essentially. What else do we have? Someone asked me, where would you like to be in five years? Mental, physical, house, horse, shop. So... <laughs> Five years mentally, I'd like to think I'm still all right. <laughs> so what, what more can you hope for, really? Um, a lot of bad shit seems to happen to me, and I like to try and not laugh through it, but you do your best, don't you? Put that there. I don't think I want anything but lecker now. Um, so, yeah, mentally, I would hope to be all right. I want a daily routine. I want skincare routine back, because guess what? I haven't done skincare, and believe me, guys, right? I haven't done skincare for over a month. I haven't done my nails in, what, three, maybe? I think I had nail polish at one point in September, but that was it. Like, I'm so neglected physically and mentally at the minute, it's not even funny. So I would like to be back at it again, so to speak. That would be amazing. Sorry, this is just the stump of the Selby Silver that I'm just going to put in here. Um, which probably means we have a few of these for sale soon, by the way, because we just need a bit more root on these. These are adorable. Um, but yeah, so I'd like that very much. I'd like to be happy. I'd like, you know, friendships to be good, going strong. I'd like relationship with my family to be good and going strong. 
all the rest. Physically, I want to be fit and healthy. I am fit and healthy. You cannot tell because I'm in, you know, just shit clothing right now. I'm actually in Ariat's right now as well. Not ideal, but I am fitter already and I am healthier, but I want to be more fitter, more healthier and stronger. So I have my own mini fitness health goals and stuff like that. It is mainly diet and fitness though, in terms of health. Um, but obviously I just hope to be in good health. What else was there? There was horse house shop. The horse, I would like one. I'd like to be a good rider. So I guess that counts as to physical as well. I'd like to be a really good rider. I'd like to improve my relationship with horses generally because unfortunately Bobby's made me very, very nervous, both riding and on the ground with horses. Um, a horse has to be super, super docile for me to be all right around it, to be honest. It's not ideal. So my next horse would have to be really, really docile. So I'd like to be a good rider. I'd love a great relationship with my horse. I'd love us to be inseparable and all that. Obviously, Bobby will be somewhere where he's absolutely buzzing his little boobies off and he's just very happy. Of course, I want that for him too. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing any of this. Uh, what else? House. I hope it's done. <laughs> I hope there's furniture in it. I hope it's fine. I hope I can pay the bills. Um, what else? What was it? The shop. Shop again. I hope it's running. Um, I say that. That sounds really serious. I'm just... The UK, if, if you guys don't know in the US, I don't know what you do know, but cost of living in the UK is horrific right now. Utility bills have gone up four times, I think, what they were, or three times. I think it's four times. Domestic rates are capped. Business rates are uncapped. So you can imagine this place takes quite a bit of electricity to run. So I don't know how well that's going to work, if the price is going to come back down, what, kind of, what that means for the shop, what that means for the prices and stuff like that. We will see. But I just hope that's obviously running sweet as a nut. And I hope everything just... I, I, I don't want for much. I, I guess that's what I'm getting at. I don't really want much. I just want to be happy and comfortable. I don't want to be in excess of anything. Don't have high aspirations. I think there was a time where I did. But at the minute, with how crap I've been feeling, it's really taken me back to basics. I don't know if anybody else has kind of been through that before. But I'm just... I just want the basics. It's that simple. There's not a lot of ways to really say it other than that. Sorry, I know liquor is noisy, especially when it hits the table. Thank you very much. Let's do one in a uh, pond for flavor, shall we? Just mix it up. Because you never know sometimes when you transplant things. It's nice to have some insurance. And I recommend that actually if you are transplanting things. If you're just a little bit worried about how something's going to take and you've got multiple of them, just do half. Just do a few in one substrate, a few in another, or adapt the substrate mix where you think, oh, is this going to be too wet? Is this going to be too dry? Literally, do a bit of both. Do a bit of both. Nothing stopping you. Takes a couple of minutes. You might end up not wiping out a whole bunch of propagations or repots or whatever. Totally recommend that. It's all right to second guess things. It's all right to not quite know what's best for your plant. There's a lot going on at the minute with plants on the internet. It's not something I was going to talk about. I've only just really thought of it now. But it's a little bit of a different culture now where you have to know the most. Whereas in 2020, it was like, you have to have the rarest thing. Now it's like, you have to know the most. You have to have all the knowledge or you just idiot and just get out kind of thing, which is real shame because it's like, it shouldn't be pretentious. It should just be seeking knowledge and being fun. But a lot of the time it comes off as really pretentious actually. And it takes fun out of it. So it's like 2020, we had the price thing. Now we just have people that just think they're better than everyone else. And Again, it's taken the fun out of it, just in a completely different way. Because I think I think the community's changed quite a lot. But I would I would identify that as something that has changed. So let me know what you think about that. Actually, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just something I've noticed. Because two seconds, I'll have to start and stop this again. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. So I'm going to grab a pot while I talk to you. Because I just feel like the community's just gone a little bit of a different way. And people, I mean, obviously the majority of people are nice, right? Please understand whenever I say this in videos, I'm not saying everyone is an asshole, okay? Just a lot of you are. All right. All right. Someone had to say it. Sorry. It's going to be me in my shitty little soapbox. It's me saying it. So I, I feel like that's how it shifted a little bit. It's not really necessarily about what's rare now. A lot of people ask me to talk about this, but I haven't really fully formulated my opinion on it. Because I'm not massively in the community. This is the thing. I've had to keep myself out of it a little bit. Obviously, I'm in loads of groups. I scroll. I judge. 
one of those people, don't really get involved. But I see things and I see how it goes. And it's just, it's just very different. I feel a little bit like the plant community. Each year that passes by, it changes into something else. And I guess that's the same thing with a lot of communities because you've, it's just like, it's fashion in a sense. But it's like a weird fashion within the topic of plants. Like 2020, rare things. 2019, it's all about variegates or it's all about rare, but more botanically rare. And then, I mean, 2020, what, what even was that? Let's not try and diagnose what the hell 2020 was. Obviously, a lot of those people have gone now, so it's, it is a bit more chill, but it, it, we're left with some really, oh, I don't know. It, it, obviously, I'm a little bit in the horse community now, and I'm certainly trying to dip my toe back in that, right? Because I left, I didn't leave it, but I just stopped looking at things in the horse community for a while because I genuinely found it really painful while I was litigating and couldn't go near mine and all of that. So I kind of stepped out of it. I'm stepping back in now. And the horse community is not great. I know y'all said on that video, listen, you think plants are bad, horses real bad. I agree. But I do see little bits here and there in the plant community as well. A lot of the groups have died down. I mean, I actually don't know if the tea groups still run. I have no idea. I'm not in them. I don't search for them. Nothing comes up. I don't hear about anything. Let me know if they do run. Um, I have no idea, actually. They used to, they were rife in 2020, obviously, because there's a lot of shit happened. But I don't know if they run anymore. I don't know if that's a thing. Who knows? Who knows? So just a lot's changed, but I feel like a lot of it is on the more pretentious side. And it's not necessarily money related anymore, which is nice. But now we just have like a new breed of asshole on the internet, right? Listen, from me to you, right? As someone that I am very quick to tell you before anybody else does, because I get a lot of hate for this, and I don't really know why. I don't give a shit, literally, though I look like I give a shit. But I get a lot of hate, basically, for, in a nutshell, not having any qualifications in plants, right? I just stumbled along it, I did a thing, it went well, I ran with it, right? And I'll, I'll openly tell you that's kind of how I'm here now, literally how I'm here now. You don't have to know everything about plants to enjoy them, guys. You just don't. I know that's what a lot of people want you to believe on the internet, but you just don't. And I'm kind of an example of that. I enjoy it. Do I know everything? No, do I hell? Do I hell? I don't know the ins and outs of, for example, pollination on like anthuriums or whatever, and what goes together, what doesn't, all these things like that. Like I, there's so much I don't know. That's the quickest example I can think of because I'm trying to pollinate stuff in a minute. Don't feel like shit because you just don't know everything about plants, or you don't know what a petiole is, or you don't know what a midrib is, or you don't know what an abaxial surface is, right? I didn't for like a year. It, it just doesn't have to be that way. And you know what? If I make myself look dumb here on this channel with all these people watching saying that, then fine, because someone has to say it. And you know me, I love saying things that somebody has to say, and I'll happily take that. But I've had a lot of crap. A lot of crap. Oh my god, it's like one of the number one things people bitch about me is the fact that I don't have qualifications or I just fucking landed in it or whatever. Um, I love it. I love that it irritates people, to be honest. It's like, well, go do it yourself then. Did you have a qualification in it? No. Most of us don't. Most of us don't. When, when, tell me this, when do you need a qualification in something to enjoy it? When do you have to know about everything about everything to enjoy it? There's loads of people out there that enjoy fashion. Do they know everything about it? Or all designers and, you know, like the evolution of Louis Vuitton and how he's made trunks and, and luggage before he does bags and everything else. Any of that? No. Some people just like the bags, right? It's, it's the same thing with plants. You don't have to know everything. It would be good to know how to take care of them. There's plenty on the internet. YouTube will teach you that. Do you know what I mean? There, there'll be botany books. I'm not knocking the botany side of it, by the way. So please don't think I'm like anti-education um, or something or anti... Do you call it anti-botany? Anti you know what I mean? I'm not against any of it. What I'm against is people using that as like the new dick swing, right? Do you remember I said this in 2020, I think, on a video? It might be the video after I came back from Thailand and I just <laughs> I was on holiday and then everything happened in 2020 because COVID kind of happened when I was in Thailand because I nearly didn't get back. Because I think I had COVID, actually. I made a reference to like people dick swinging. I've, I've said it a few times, I call it dick swinging. But people are now using knowledge to dick swing a little bit. And it's just like, just, just let people have fun, man. Oh my God, let people have fun. I think uh, some people are saying at the minute, like the community's not have fun anymore. I actually think that might be what it is. It might be what it is. Because nobody's just willing to have fun. 
You know what I mean? No one's just willing to just take things at the stride. They're fucking plants, guys. They're plants. Do you know what I mean? Just chill. Just chill. Just be chill. Ugh. Be a dude, right? Just be a dude about it. That is my number one advice, bit of advice for you guys. That is my number one bit of advice for you guys. Just be a dude about it. Stop swinging buttock, you know? Or swing it, but swing it in your own time, you know what I mean? Stop doing it on the internet. It's way too much of that. Right, let's get this in here. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this little, little bit, you know? Ben's going to kill me. I don't know why I've decided to do these in pond. I've done two in lurker and the rest are in pond. There's no real reason. I think it's just a bit less noisy. So I've found myself gravitating towards it a little bit. Right, this does look shy. I, I, it does. It looks really bad. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna live with it. Let me just put this in this one, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna plant this, guys. But I don't have high hopes for it. Okay, we're probably gonna lose it, but I probably shouldn't have snapped it off. But here we are. But yeah, let me know what you think on the difference between the community then and the community now. Like, if you honestly think, Kaylee, what on earth? What are you talking about? I haven't noticed that whatsoever then please write a comment because I'm actually genuinely curious. Because as I say, I do dip in and dip out a little bit. So I'm not always completely up to date with it. I think as my routine stabilizes and I can do more stuff, then I will be. And I will definitely get more back into what I was. I'm really, really curious to see what you guys think. There's been points, and I'm, I wasn't going to tell you this, but there's there's been points where I've... Um, I can't speak today. What the hell? There's been points where I've considered turning my DMs back on. Um, just to see how we go. Um, I thought I'd do a really good video idea and I wouldn't, I, I mean, I might tell you guys about it. I don't know, but I thought about doing a video and my friend actually suggested this. Do a video where you turn your DMs back on and you leave it open for however long and just see what happens and make a video on it, whether it's good or bad and just really transparently highlight good and bad and the type of things people come to you with and everything else. I think it could be a really cool little gateway into what it's like on my side. And with any luck, the trolls won't know they're back open and they just won't flood it with just shit because that's what used to happen. But let me know if you're interested in that as well. I know I've said a lot today about, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're interested in this. But I am really, really curious. The GoPro idea, just to bring that back, I really like the idea of that, you know. Just strapping a GoPro on. I'll have to find a way to mic it and not make it sound like shit. Wear some kind of harness or maybe on my head or whatever. Probably put it on my riding hat or something. Um, I'm just pottering around and doing some stuff and just POV. But it will be very, very chill. Like, it won't be high production. That could be really cool to do that over December. So let me know what you think about that. I'm kind of keen on it. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of keen on it. So, yeah, that, that was this report. I haven't done a lot. I have not done a lot. Hopefully you can tell I feel a little bit more chipper these days. I know someone's probably going to comment it. I do feel a bit better. I've had a really horrific month. I won't lie. And I will tell you about it sometime. Um... But I haven't had the best time. But I'm I'm feeling alright. I, I can get through most things, guys. I seem to have a really good ability to get back up on the horse, so to speak. Terrible pun. Um, so I'm I'm alright. But I'm better than what I was that other video. That's for sure. I've processed things a little bit more, um, and I'm just waiting on some answers to some questions that I have before I get back to you guys. Because I didn't want to do three million horse updates. So you will get that in due course. Again, let me know what you think about that. But. That is it for this repot with me. I will love you and leave you. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video and any of my others, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I will leave that GoFundMe down below so it explains what the hell I'm on about if you're new because that sometimes happens. And that's it. Till next week. I don't know what I'm waiting to tell you. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video, guys. Uh, have a great weekend. Bye.